what's up guys you guys are welcome to trust tv channel once again so in today's class we're going to look at how we are going to create the coinbase account so you might be asking what's coinbase account coinbase is similar to coin kucoin um binance hubi pro and the rest of the wallet used to store our cryptocurrency so all of them serves as the same but i'm going to teach you today we're going to focus on how you can create an account successfully using the coinbase um company so now if you if i scroll down here you're going to find out that i have two coinbase one is the coinbase pro which is the actual the general coinbase account then one is just for the wallet which work like the way trust wallet works also this one works the same way but there is some difference which we can we, we might talk about it in any of our video or in any of our coming video but now let's just focus on how we can create this particular account having this account and having this account are two different things but later we'll talk more about that for now let's focus on how we can create uh the coinbase account so before i proceed to what we have today which is the step-by-step -step guide on how you can create and verify your coinbase account so i would like to ask you guys for a favor if you are new to this youtube channel or you haven't subscribed yet to my youtube channel please i would like you guys to click on the subscription button and make sure you toggle on the bell icon to receive notification each time i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified about the video before others will start watching so if you are watching outside youtube and you wish to um actually connect with us using other social media you can use the number showing on your screen or you can use the link showing on your screen thank you guys for doing that i so much appreciate so now let's proceed to what we have now like i said earlier we can use this coinbase to actually register our account which i'm going to show you how to do that but i'm going to use two methods which is the using the coinbase app and also using the normal browser going directly to the website so coinbase app uh sometimes it normally takes time to load so uh, we're going to give it some time so that it will come up so now it's still loading so let's just give it some time maybe i'll have to pause the video and, and play it later okay the coinbase is up now as you can see my name here i've already registered already i've registered already so i'm going to click on this sign up here sign out here so that i can sign out and show you how you can actually register using your coinbase app so this is how it will look like once you own your coinbase app this is how it's going to look like so before you go into registration you might lose having this free five dollar you might lose having this free five dollar or lose having extra ten dollars so i'm going to drop my own link in the description of this uh, video i'm going to drop my own link i'm also going to pin it in the comment section so that you once you use that link to register if you're in nigeria you're going to get an extra four thousand four thousand something plus four thousand uh, 4,000 Naira worth of uh, Bitcoin, you're going to get that. So if you're watching from outside Nigeria, 4,000 converted by, uh, if you convert 4,000 Naira into dollar, it will be equivalent to around, uh, that should be around um, about 10 or 13 dollars, about 10 dollars, yes, it's going to be around 10 or 8 dollars. So we're going to get it for free just for using that link to sign up. Once you have signed up with the link and also anytime you trade up to that amount, you get it for free. So I'll urge you guys to use the link I'm going to drop in the description to continue with this as well. Just register using it. So now if you want to register here, you have two options here. Either you sign in if you have an account already or you get started here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on this get started. So once I click on this get started, this is using the app. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm, ju I'm just going to put the first name, put the last name, put the email address and put my password Then check this bus. Once I'm done checking this box, I click on create account. Automatically, my account uh, will be created and I'll be redirected to the next step. But we're not going to use this. I'm going to show you another way you can do it. We're going to use it, but I'm going to show you another way you can do it. So if you go to your browser here, over your browser here, just type coinbase.com or you just search for Coinbase, it's going to come out. So you just click on Coinbase app and coinbase you are ready. going to ask you do you want to use the app or this because i have the app already that's the reason it's showing me this so i don't want to use the app i want to use the web so i will show you things some kind of difference so you can see how the web looks like the web will show you this to start to sign sorry let's hold on a bit let me move this up so the web will show you this to use your email and get started instantly here 
according to what they say here jump start your uh crypto portfolio so you can get started here or you click on get started here but if you have an account already you click on this menu here then you click on sign in if you have an account already so we don't have an account you have to click on get started so once you click on get started it's going to show us these things here which is what it's going to show us the first name the last name the email address the password just as is in the app so right now let's proceed to signing up i'm going to use the web to sign up um you can also use the app to sign up it's still the same process so right now this is a fake account i'm creating so i'm going to just type wherever i want to type here so i'm just going to type um sunday um sunday maybe sunday cyprian so i'm going to type sunday cyprian then i'll come here and type my email which is twice TV office at gmail.com so i'm going to type password just uh one just to go i'm just going to uh put a random password i'm just going to put a random password so i've put the random password for this i'm going to click on certified that i certified that i'm 18 years and above so that's the rule you have to be from 18 years before you can join the website so right now i feel all those things i've checked the button so i'm going to click on create account so once I click on create account, all right, I'm going to wait for it to It said that um, password cannot contain common words or pattern. Try adding numbers. I use common common uh, password. So let me just try adding numbers and symbol on it so that I will uh, actually bypass this. So what it simply means is that you can't use anyhow password here, like using a random word. People know like pass, you know, PSS, you know, password, this and this, or use a name that is related to your own name. You can't use those such thing you have to use a strong password so that it will be strong enough to secure your account so i've changed the password to something else as you can see here is a bit uh, yellowish in color before it was just red to show you that the password is not strong enough so i'm going to click on create account right now so once i click on create account i'll allow it to load it's coming up so this is it i still want to open the browser i don't want to use the uh, app to do that so i'm just going to click on just one so now the account the second step i'm about doing the second step right now so this is the second step i have to do what i have to verify my email address before i can be able to continue so i have to go to my email click on it so after i click on it what i'm going to do next is this i'm going to click on the link they are going to show me there to say verify account so you can see it over here they say verify email address so i'm going to click on it so once i click on it, it's going to load i'll allow it to load so uh once it has loaded uh it will show me if there's any other step i have to take it will also show me the steps so this is it now i have to, i have to put my phone number this is the last steps i have to put my phone number for two factor authentication that is for the two steps verification this is just to secure your account so you have to put your phone number so i'm going to put uh, a phone number then once i click on a phone number once i click on the phone once I, I type in the phone number i'm going to click on send code they are going to send me the code to type in the code so once i type in the code it means that i'm set to go automatically i'll be logged in or if there is any other steps you can also proceed so I'm not going to continue here this is just the last steps and i don't want to have multiple account like i have an account already so i don't i don't want to have multiple accounts so i'm going to log into my main account now because that's the next interface we're going to see so i'm going to log into my main account so that we can proceed on the steps we are going to take for verification and the reason why you need your account to be verified by coinbase so i'm going to go to my um let me just close this I'm going to use the app right now to log in. I'm not going to use this again. I'm going to use the app to log into my account. So what I have to do now is just to close all this. Yes, I'm sure. Then I'll click on sign in. Then I have to um, put in my email address and put my password and sign into the account. So I'm going to sign into the account right now. Then once I'm signed into the account, I'm going to show you the next thing to do so uh, i'm going to sign in right now so i've clicked on the sign in button and they sent me a verification because each time i want to log in 
I have to verify my account that it's me. So I've pasted the code they sent to me on my mobile phone. I'm going to click on verify. Then it will verify if it is uh, actually correct or not. So now it has verified and I think I'm logged in right now. So let's give it some time to actually uh, load properly so that we can continue with what we are going to do. So I'm going to just allow it to load. Let me just give it a little time. So um, congratulations to me. I'm now logged in into my account. As you can see here, they say get 4,100 and something Naira here for uh, trading, for inviting someone. And that's the reason why I requested or I'm suggesting that you should also use my link so that both of us can get the 4,100 if you're in Nigeria. But if you are watching outside Nigeria, if you use the link, you're going to get up to $10 for trading up to ten dollars you're going to get an extra ten dollars so you know what it what what it is what it is to have such amount so uh at least for the gas fee you can use it to be paying for gas fee and other things so now we have logged into our account the next thing we are going to do is to verify our account the reason why you need to verify your account is so that you can do maximum payment you can do max you can receive maximum payment also you can also withdraw maximum payment maximum amount of cryptos so if you don't do this you have limitations so some features will not be working for you there are some things you might do that will not be working for you so how can we actually um, go into this what you are going to do is just uh, like a mobile i'm a mobile now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this menu here so once i click on the menu then the next thing i'm going to see is my profile here then i'll click on profile and settings so if i click on profiles and settings uh, i will allow it to load let me just give it a little time to load now this is it profile and settings as you can see here my country i'm going to click on my country to be sure it's nigeria you see uh change country to change your country please follow the steps listed on this support page my country is already on nigeria so in uh, on nigeria so if i want to change it i can still click here and change but i don't want to change i'll click on phone number my phone number is already attached you can see there unless i want to add another additional phone number and uh, my display name how is going to display blah 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 and other things is just for the app so where we are going to go to is what we call limit and features so limits and features is what is what where we are going to go to so i'm going to click on that limit now if i click on it you can see over here here 3d secure purchase is zero dollar per week this one is already enabled to send cryptocurrencies and enabled to receive crypto, uh, cryptocurrency is enabled but they have limit now if i want to uh future upgrade available you can earn reward on your cryptocurrency once you upgrade your account so what do you have to do what you have to do just click on that verify uh photo id you click on it so once you click on verify photo id you follow the instruction you can see over there they say please verify a photo id to determine if you are eligible for higher limit you need to verify a photo id after you have verified an id please try again so it simply means that when you want to actually uh, send out payments in a large quant in a large amount, it will not be available for you. You can't do that. But if you verify your account, it's called KYC. Know my customer. Know your customer. So with that, you can actually send transact any amount you want for the day based on their maximum limits for the day. So once you have verified your account, this will start working out for you so for those of you uh, that are into RareQ, i'm also going to show you how you can bind your coinbase app or your coinbase account with your RareQ account if you're watching and you have RareQ account i'm going to show you that in my next video so right now what we are going to do is to click on verify photo id so once we click on verify photo id there will be some instructions say that to verify your photo id financial regression required us to verify your photo your your id this helps us prevent someone else from creating a coinbase account in your name so after these steps you will be ready to start trading crypto so um i'm going to click continue there is two things here i don't know maybe if their security um if their security features will allow me to screen uh, actually a uh, screen record so if you are seeing blank if i click on continue if you are seeing blank it simply means that security does not allow me to to screen record but if you are listening to me and you are also doing yours over there you can also understand what i'm talking about and i can use 
um, my marker to actually draw a line if you are not seeing but if you're seeing that's okay so now i'm going to click on continue here so once i click on continue they have three things i can work with my id which is government id my driver's license which is the one they recommended is general acceptable even the passport is also general that is international passport is also acceptable so what you have to do is just to click on any of them here they say we will take two pictures of your id what type of id uh do you want to use so two pictures of our id they are going to take two pictures of it which is the front and the back of any of them that's what they mean by two pictures so it's either you use the driving license or you use the id card or you use the passport so now i'm going to use id because i want to use my voters card as a nigerian i want to use my voters card so they are showing me interface where i'm going to place the id card and snap the picture i'm going to place it and do what and snap it that's what i'm going to do right now so um let me just um, just give me some time let me get my id ready so according to instruction given to us here they have a frame for us which is the frame is from here to this place around so it simply means that the id card must be inside this frame must be inside this frame so that everything will show the whole id card has to be inside this frame and when you are doing this you have to go to where there is enough light enough light so that everything will be bright enough so if it's not bright enough it will be rejected so that's it here they say we should snap the front of the, your id so that's what we're about snapping now so i'm going to place it and i'll take picture of it I'm going to place it and i'll take picture of it and you have to be where there is enough light so that the light the light will actually reflect or even though it's not light but let that be uh let that place be enough be clear enough to see your identity card so this one you're snapping directly with the card you're not uploading the card you're snapping it directly with the card so that's how coinbase own that's how they do their own verification so we are going to do that right now in a short while then we'll proceed with the next step to snap the back as well so um i'm trying to actually um verify this um account you can see my identity card the way i placed it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure it gets to this box correctly so all the id card has to be inside this box and i have to make sure it's been placed well so if i find that it's been placed well then i can click on to snap so after snapping it will show me how it looks like if it is not okay then i have to check if it is okay if it is okay i will say yes looks good but if it is not okay i'll click on retake i don't think it's okay by me so i'm going to click on retake to retake it again So, okay, this time around, um, it is still not okay for me because it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, uh, should I say, it's a kind of blow. So, I'm going to make sure it's brighter. So, I'm going to retake again. And uh, we bring it down. So you just have to be careful with it. Make sure everything is well. So I'm just like, let me get it right. Okay, I have to pause this. Video. Okay, uh, I think this position will work out very well for me. So I just have to place this here.
all right so i think this one is very okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click yes looks good so once i click on yes looks good they're going to show me to actually um put it back so i'm going to so i'm going to turn the back of the id card screen as you can see here and i'll snap it about to make sure it's clear before i'll do that so as you can see everything is uh okay by me so i'm going to click on uh i'm going to click on yes looks good so once i click on it i can now proceed with other steps so i'm going to click on it right now so i'm waiting for it to load so let's give it some time for it to load so here is it um okay so okay so i click on that verify um uh, photo ID and they showed me verification is still processing and they said here is taking a few minutes for verification to complete check back in a bit so as you can see here if I still click on verify photo ID the term is still processing then this is it so uh, once they are done verifying my account the next thing they are going to do they are going to give me a, an email or a message to tell me that the verification has been confirmed approved or rejected so if it is being rejected they might tell you the reason why the um, verification was rejected and you can actually try it again so guys this is how you can register your coinbase account and also verify your coinbase account so i just hope this video is very helpful to you guys if you think this video is helpful to you guys please don't forget to click on the subscription button on uh, and don't forget to toggle on the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time i update or upload a video on this youtube channel guys and don't forget to share don't forget to comment if you have any question in the comment section as well see you guys in my next video peace out